Hello stamping friends. So this is my Friday card review. These are all the projects that I shared this week over on my blog at pumpkinhillstampers.com. So you can go and visit my website directly. Um, you can subscribe to my project emails from my blog and uh, when I share projects, be it videos or just written up projects, um, you'll get an email directly to your inbox. So you don't have to go hunting on Facebook or Pinterest or YouTube, you can just get it direct. So if you're a fan, you can certainly go subscribe to my blog email um, to get all the projects directly. So this week we were doing Mystery Case 27. We were doing background stamping. Um, I had picked background stamping as one of my Mystery Case themes a few months ago, and it's just kind of been sitting there waiting for me to get to it. And then Stampin' Up! shared some projects with us as demonstrators, and I decided I would case their simple stamping projects with the background stamping theme and look at all the cards I came up with this week. So, um, there were three different layouts. I just did the follow along Friday um, video where I did these three cards on top. So you can snag that video um, here as well to see them in action. But then I have videos on my blog from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday where I did each of these designs um, for you to show you how I put them together. So let's just do a real quick review of all the projects and um, then we'll say goodbye for the week, right? Because it's Friday and we all want to get on to our weekends and have some fun with our families. Okay, so here was the first projects of the week. This one you can see I then did it on a note card as well. So I did a couple Christmas themes. I was still kind of in the Christmas theme at the beginning of the week. Um, this one is from the Paper Pumpkin, Joy to the World. Okay, so it's the idea is just some sparse background stamp images, right? I've got the snowman, I've got the holly from Christmas Gleaming, that's from the Paper Pumpkin Joy to the World, and then I just did this one. This one's with the um, Beautiful Friendship stamp set, so it doesn't have to be holidays. You could do it for any occasion, but it's a real simple layout where it's just a base card and then one cut down. This one is cut down to three and three quarters by five, I believe. This one I cut down a little bit smaller. I think it's three and a half by four and three quarters. But you can make your adjustments based on your images or how much framing you want around. And then I just added simple sentiment tags, right? Whether they're just cut cardstock or whether they're die cut panels, they're your cards, make them your way. But that was the first, those are the first project ideas, okay? I'll put those over there. Um, on Tuesday, I shared another project layout, okay? The video shows the moose. So this one is a standard card again. The panel on top is four by five and a quarter. So there's just an eighth of an inch kind of all around the edge. You can see I've got some bigger background stamping going on, more than just three images. This one's got about six, and then my other two cards have a bit more. But then we just have this sentiment um, focal point kind of popped up. Um, they used in their sample a uh, piece of uh, paper, cardstock for a paper ribbon. So I copied it on that one. This is the one I just did on the Follow Along Friday. This one again I did with the Paper Pumpkin Joy to the World. I used the flower and I stamped on vellum for that. So if you see that there's a little bit of a shadow behind, that's because it's on vellum. And then my simple sentiment. And this one I did from Tropical, uh, Timeless Tropical. I did a birthday one with this fun three color tag there. Okay, so the project's video is on the blog for Tuesday for that one. All right, and then Wednesday I did this project. Okay, this is a base card. Um, it's just got a thin panel that goes from top to bottom and then a sentiment tag over the top. So here's the one I actually do on the video. I do some stamping on the vellum in the video, so I talk about tips with that. Um, but just real simple using stamps from the set to make a background image of my own. I left some white space and then a simple ribbon for the sentiment. Okay, this one I did with uh, Hello Harvest. I just used the single leaf and then I borrowed the sentiment. This one was from the uh, Christmas Means More as I got the bell and then the sentiment came from my paper pumpkin and then this is the one I just did for you with the beautiful friendships stamp set in the follow along Friday. So lots of cards this week shared. These were really simple layouts where you could make 
um, lots of kits for yourself, right? Pick some patterned paper or um, cardstock that you want to make your own prints on. Cut them down to the various sizes and then just start stamping. Just start stamping and making some cards. So don't get um, hung up on it has to be exactly the right project or I have to make it just the way somebody else made it. Just stamp. Just stamp and make have fun. And if you make a mess, it's okay. It's okay to make a mess. You don't have to use everything you stamp. Um, just make the best of it. So take your time, enjoy yourselves, pull out a stamp set, make a bunch of cards, and be ready when you want to send a friend a smile in the mail, right? We should definitely be sending each other smiles in the mail these days. These days it's going to be a very long winter, I think. So thanks guys for joining me today. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, and I'll have more projects for you next week. So again, the blog is pumpkinhillstampers.com. The links for my online store are shared here. I have these projects listed below on the Facebook page, so you can go directly back to the blog links that I shared for these projects this week. And uh, we'll have another mystery case next week on the blog. All right, everybody, have some fun time with your families this weekend. And I know we're all getting ready for uh, the holiday coming up. And um, happy stamping. Thanks. Bye-bye.